Now, uh, it's day... 131. You were waiting for me to say that, weren't you? <laughs> it was. So, we're back, uh, we're back here, up here, up here, wherever you think that is, at Early Beach. And um, we were going to go out on the boat, but wait for it. The uh, hydraulic ram has been removed from the rudder room. So therefore I could only steer the boats on the engines and that's okay while we're maneuvering it in the um, marina. But when you get out in the wild ocean. So why am I doing this? So we've come down, forced to come down to our favorite place <laughs> and that's the stupid market. And we're now going to, and I'm having this discussion uh, live with you, Sue. Yes. We're now trying to just uh, shore up provisions for when we uh, set off on the five-week, four-week... Trip home. Trip home. <laughs> so we're short of, what are we short of? Just to keep dribbling food into the larders and the... Uh, what are we short of? So I don't mind what I eat, but you're fairly pernickety. I'm not pernickety. Um, Tuna, yeah. we've got to, things that so, don't go off, so we can't. We've got to have some cans frozen cans of tuna. Yeah, cans of tuna, some frozen veggies. Frozen veggies. Uh, we're yeah. going to get some fish tonight, but I don't, that won't last. So we can actually get some. A tuna man steaks. came by the boat and he said, "Do you eat dugong? Was yeah. that what it was? What was the fish? Something like that. Well, I don't think it was that. He said dugong. Dugong. What, what was it? I don't know. Some weird name of a fish. Well, how dugong's pretty <laughs> weird, isn't it? Anyhow, he said, have you eaten dugong? I said, I don't think I have. He said, well, I've caught some out on the outer reef. We caught some, he said he caught marlin. Yeah. He bullshit. Well, they said they were 120 nautical miles out offshore. So and, actually... and, and, and didn't it make a, it didn't give us some joy. He said the head <laughs> on his engine exploded and they had to be towed back and they had to come back on one engine. Yep. And I, I couldn't help not, but not smiling at him. I didn't want to laugh, but I thought, thank God, someone else's boat is fucked up. Uh, he has, has <laughs> malfunctioned. Uh, anyhow, he uh, he is going on Saturday, and he's going back to Mackay. We'll film on him one later. engine. Yeah. On one engine. Yeah. Holy mackerel! So, so anyhow, so we're getting some dugong or whatever that fish is called. <laughs> uh, he said he'll come and we'll we'll go up to his boat. His boat's called. Um, What's his boat called? Uh, he told us what his boat was called. Um, yeah, come yeah, on. I can't remember it. Was it. Called, uh, uh, it was called... Um, I can't remember. Oh, no. Um, oh, isn't that pathetic? Anyhow, so, that, so we're down at the stupid market. And what what else do we think? Uh, you, you can do this on the spot. I'll take a note of it. What else do we need to buy just for provisions on the way? Long life milk or cereal or uh, yeah. uh, spaghetti? You don't eat spaghetti or pa pa no, we pasta? No, I do a bit. So we're going to get some... Get some pasta, and yeah. then we'll get some like uh, bolognese sauce. Bolognese. Yeah. Bolognese. Bolognese. Yeah, bolognese. <laughs> bolognese. Yeah. Um, that's for your pasta. You can get some um, tuna, obviously canned, some canned yeah. veggies because you like the artichokes in the uh, yeah. in the tin. And and fro we'll Beetroot. freeze up some we'll freeze up some beef and stuff. <laughs> beetroot. Um, but yeah, beetroot. Oh, so. We're going back now to, when we get back, I'll show you the uh, rudder room with the uh, steering ram out of it. The bloke said, yes, he said yesterday, he said, I'll have it done yesterday. Then he rang me and he said, now the part, we haven't got the parts, we're getting them from Mackay. And he said, they'll be in today and I'll put it on and come back and uh, uh, install it today. How, how, how accurate do you reckon that'll be? Uh, no. I'm tipping he'll ring and say, they're not in till tomorrow and uh, can I come on Monday? No, if I was to say, tell him to come on Saturday, Friday, it has to be Friday because Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week is going to be great weather. So no, we're going I, out. I told him it had to be done this Friday because we were going out tomorrow. Yes. But, so. uh, you know, he said the part wasn't here and I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to ring him and ask him, can I drive the boat on the engines uh, without, I just told you I can, but uh, you need to actually be able to steer the bloody thing with the rudder <laughs> at some stage if it gets too Because you airy. can't put it on air, autopilot, can you? You cannot, because mm. the steering ram is what controls the rudder. Oh. Uh, so uh, we're here at the stupid market. What, what did, what, uh, now someone said, uh, how many days in a row do you wear the same clothes? You seem to be... <laughs> Well, the here is, uh, I've had this on yesterday, this, uh, this, uh, wife beater. 
Our bloke said, don't call the wife beater, it's called a person beater. No. No, they beater. They, yeah, it's they lie. It's they beater. They, they lie, lie beater. and thou. Uh, it's a they beater. So I've got the they beater on. And, um, At least you've changed your shorts. Uh, no, I haven't. Not from uh, yesterday, but from the week that you had in Melbourne. So, uh, seriously, <laughs> why do you have to put new, fresh clothes on every day? Uh, I'm, the underwear I'll, 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 I might uh, cut you some slack on. Why do you need to put new shorts and a new t-shirt on? I mean, but, but shit. <laughs> if I was doing something strenuous or uh, sweating, but we just walk around, it's just, it's just a waste of time. Uh, can I ask you this? Now, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, um, making, what's the word? Light of it? No, not making light of it. I'm not... Um, talking shit. I'm talking shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... I can't think of the word. I'm not condemning or condoning or condemning people. Could you tell me how many people on this planet walk past you with tattoos? <laughs> and, and, and as I say, I'm not. Um, oh, I can't think of the word. I'm not. I'm not um, questioning. I am. Que what is it? Every single person, old, young, female, male, uh, uh, convertibles. Uh, they, thou, thee, thy, they, they. What is it? Uh, what compels someone to go into a tattoo shop and get tattoos? As I say, if it floats your boat, they might say, why don't you go and get a tattoo? But if it floats your boat... You stupid boat, old prick and you, you touch your fucking body up. Yeah, or, but if you say if it floats their boat or they, they, they're quite, well, they can do whatever they want with their body, so what, is it, what does it worry you? Why, why it does it worry you? It does. Because you go... I, uh, what do I do? I do not. I'm just staggered at the amount of people, all shapes, sizes, all genders, walk by with tattoos on their calves and legs and forehead. I'm just saying, do they think? Yeah, and they my, think it's my, good. Most they, of they my like friends it. have what? They, they like it. They love it. And you say, well, Dane Swan's got uh, tattoos I, all over I, his body. I know, and... And, uh, and you uh, like it, because it's his I, I, character. I said that. I was like his branding. It, it's, I, I've said, and same with Dustin Martin, if you know who those two yeah. people are. That, they, that is their... Branding? That is their modus operandi. That is their branding. That's well, who they are. what about the normal people? Why can't they be who they are and have tattoos? Because they don't have a profile and they don't trade on oh, it. Oh, so you have to have a profile and they have a tattoo. I said they don't have a profile and trade on the fact that they um, are uh, inked up. Uh, you see how many stupid looking people, <laughs> fat, small, thin, aged, walk by and what I want to know is when they get home and they strip, get the kit off, do they look in the mirror and think, fuck, that looks good? Yeah, they probably they, do. They, but they, but they, they couldn't. They, well, that's your opinion. It is. I'm not con I'm condemning it. I'm not condemning anyone for doing it. I just don't understand. It's like people, this is a, you love this, it's like people who go out in graffiti. What, what, what is the excitement of someone going out and daubing all the uh, city walls and uh, 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 fences and gates and anything else that's been erected, painting uh, graffiti, uh, like putting your... Yeah, I agree with that. What is graffiti it? Is what, but what is it if... It's not as though you drive past it and see it every day. What is it to deface? You're sort of defacing your body, but if you want to do that, that's fine. But if you want to deface the city you live in, that's not fine. What is it? What is that mentality? I'd like... There must be a gene or a chromosome or a pixel I think in, it, in your brain that says, oh yeah, I must get some spray paint and go out and fuck up half the city I live in. What is that? You've taken your happy pills this morning, haven't you? Jeez, you're grumpy. No, I'm not. <laughs> You've I'm, got the as, as I say, I would, I would love to, you know, we used to go out and interview people on the street. I would like to do a doco on asking anyone that I run into, say, could I just ask you a question, please? Why did you decide to get tattoos? Why don't you? Uh, well, but because they might say, well, what's it to you? Exactly. Fuck off. Uh, no, but, uh, but, but, but if I could ask it genuinely, genuinely and say, now, I, I see you here, I see you coming towards me, you've got one on your thigh, you've got two on your <laughs> ankle, you've got one on your forehead, and uh, you're a... Um, you're a not, not, not an attractive looking person, a man or woman. Uh, did you think that would take the focus off the fact that you uh, 
have a kind heart. No, I, I don't <laughs> mind. I, I don't mind. Oh, as I say, many of my friends have them, and uh, I, I just maybe it's an age thing. An age thing, is it? Mm. Well, so you've never walked past, I, I'm going to tip you in now, I walk past and you say, hey, to me, while I'm ahead of you, you say, look, behind you, and I look back, and there is this, this obese looking woman with tattoos from arsehole to breakfast time, and you think, what is that? Who said to her, hey, doll, why don't you slip in and even draw more attention to the fact that you've got a huge landscape, a huge canvas to work on, and paint your whole body full of shit. Well, that's her opinion. She it likes is it. good on her. And they probably look at me and say, mate, why don't you get some tattoos and spark your life up? We'll and have you're to, boring. Yeah. This is boring. We'll um, have to go out and do some street talk on them. Oh, no, we won't do that. Now we're going. Oh. So, so what else? Why did I start this? Oh, so I'm going to show you the. I'm going to show you when we get back. I'm going to show you the dugong fish. Man's going to give us some dugong. No, I'm not sure <laughs> what it's called. And I'm going to show you the uh, the rudder room where the thing's missing. Uh, we didn't get the depth sounder fixed. I told you that the bloke said get a stick so that you can. <laughs> how about that? Get a stick so you can put it down and see how deep it is. If the stick hits the bottom, you know you've got four feet of water under you. That'll be Andy going home. And uh, also, uh, so we're going into the stupid market to see what we need to shore up for the big trip home. Anything else? That's it. If you've contributed nothing, nothing. to this, go on. Well, I can never ever get a thing in, so... Right, I'm stopping now. Go ahead. No, don't touch it. <laughs> say, say what other things have on your mind. Nothing's on my mind. Hey. Nothing's on my mind. Friday on my mind. Who sang that? The Beach Boys. Uh, uh, no, I reckon it was the Easy Beats. Easy Beats. What did someone say about? Uh, no, that, that, so someone said. Someone said. Um, no, they did. Say, oh, about the tickets to the. I I, I wasn't whinging about the MCG uh, not uh, was banning me from going to the uh, next year's grand final because I tried to get a ticket and give it to someone. I wasn't whinging about that. My only point was someone said, "Well, don't you know the rules?" I, I'm not. I wasn't trying to bend the rules. I just you thought. You know the rules. I just thought if I'm offered a ticket, why can't I buy a ticket off my membership and? Because I've already got a ticket to get in, why can't I get buy another ticket and give it to someone? Because it's your privilege to be a member. It's you. Well, then why am you I allowed to buy part. a ticket in the first place? Well, no, you they say the, you shouldn't be allowed to get a ticket because you're already got one. Yeah. You're a member. Yeah. Well, so what's why offer me a ticket? Because you've already got one, so yeah, you so have to go. You oh, can't give it to I know someone. what I was going to say. I know what I was going to say. Sorry about this. Uh, we had a friend of ours. Can't mention his name. Craig Willis who in his uh, attempt to and a very good attempt sincere attempt to tell me i said why do they have left and right why don't we just have left and right in the boat instead of port and starboard so he's obviously researched it. he said do you know where it came from i said of course i don't he said well in ancient times the gondoliers the gondoliers <laughs> in venice uh, they are predominantly right-handed so they said uh, 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 so they said, when you want to steer the gondola, you just, and he had some other name for right-handed in, in, in French or Greek or whatever it was. And then he said, and then the Vikings came in and they had a different reason because when the boat docked, usually it was on the left-hand side and that when you got into port, it was on the left-hand side and therefore the porters had come and take your luggage off the boat. And I said, well, that's, that, that's fantastic. That, what has that got to do with uh, port and starboard? Why not say the universal, everyone in the world, I've not said this before, knows what your left hand side is and your right hand side is. Why go on with the crap about port and starboard? It means nothing. It, honestly, it means nothing. It's just a maritime thing. Can someone you get in the maritime why is it a maritime? Can someone give me a logical reason? No. Don't, don't worry about the Vikings no. or the porters on the gondolas. It's just nonsensical. No, and it just, this is the things we put up with. We think, oh, it's a tradition. It's happened 200, 300, 400 years ago. Let's keep going with it. Well, then why can't women get women and men get, young kids get the tattoos? Because they can. Again. Of course they can get tattoos. I'm not stopping Change. them from doing that. I oh, know that's 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 illogical. Uh, that's like saying, oh, instead of having a GPS to get the boat home, why don't we get a sextant out and see if we can navigate by the stars? Because they used to do that 500 years ago. Yeah. They didn't have, well, 
Well, we've moved on. Just moved say on. we're dispensing with port and starboard. It's left and right from now on, and no confusion. Right, if on the boat anyone now. anyone can disagree with that, what? On the boat now, it's left and right, no port and starboard. That, that's cor that's oh, correct. On the way home. We, so I've learned always the port and starboard, but now it's left and right on the way home. Good on you. Well, you have to think about port and starboard when I say we go to steer uh, to the starboard, please. <laughs> After four months, no, it now comes natural. <laughs> no, well, left and right would come naturally because you've been doing that all your life, buttoning it off. <laughs>